So it's your boy Downsizing. I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. 600. Let me be very, very blunt with you, bro. This is very simple. You claim to be something you're not. You're, you're sitting there giving yourself credit as being someone who has no reputation for doing anything that would define his character as being that. And what I mean by that is if we look at you and your adolescence growing up, your, your, your school transcripts, as a matter of fact, we'll, we'll get as basic and fundamental with you as your school transcripts. Your school transcripts demonstrate to us that you were a good kid. Police have no record of you in your adolescence as a juvenile and no gang files. So you have no G file. The only person I've heard come on here and mention that he's your age, went to school with you, or whatever, said so the same thing that I said about you. You're a good kid, you play ball, blah, blah, blah. Went on to be a boxer. It's just strange how out of nowhere you come into play and you you got this reputation as well. What is your reputation? What have you done? No one has stopped to question the work that you've put in while you're calling other people snitches in actual cases. What have you done to, to be a gang, to be in a gang, to even claim that you're in a gang? What have you done? What is your reputation? Your nickname is 600? That's what they called you in the hood? What did you do on the playground to get your name, bro? Because listen, it doesn't matter, dog. It does not fucking matter where you come from. Gang banging begins in adolescence for all of us. Schoolyard, playground, we're blacktop with it, dude. This is where and where we earn and make our names for ourselves. We don't do that shit in our 30s. People that are still banging in their 20s were already banging in their teens. By the 30s, man, bro, most of us grow out of this shit. People have a different sense in their 30s than they, than they do the rest of them. In your 40s, bro, come on, man. That's what I understand about a lot of people. But you... The record reflects something totally different about you, and everybody's missing this online. Your record reflects something different. So what? The record reflects that, that Big U's a rat. There's a record to reflect that he did some shit. He put it while he was in prison. They claim he knocked out 30 some people in a riot. You? Well, your, son, your whole history is suspect. And as Paperboy Newstan keeps pointing out about you, when are you and Wack going to unseal this paperwork that you guys have sealed? When? When are you going to stop projecting what you know is on you onto others? Because like I said in the last video, it doesn't matter. Giving you the benefit of the doubt, big use, all that. What are you going to do about your petty problem, about your fatal obsession with him? Don't tell us about it. Go do something, fool. Shut up now, fool. It's 2024. Shut up about big you, fool. You ain't doing nothing. Nothing ain't been done. Shut up. I'm going to repeat this again to you. Your transcripts, your school transcripts prove you were a good kid. There's no, there's no record. You don't have no record. There's no, re you have no reputation as being an active at any point in your life, except for now online. You have no history, no record of being an active member of Road Neighborhood Rolling Sixty Strip. Any set, you don't have it. There's a case you spoke about here in Arizona that's sealed, which. According to the details that you gave, I picked it apart using our statutes and proved how it can't be true. You lying about what you said. So as Paperboy News Stand points out, you want to play with paper? Let's see. Otherwise, dude, get off big U's nuts now, dude. Get his cock out of your mouth. You're a clown. 
You have no reputation as being an active member of neighborhood rolling 60s with anyone that would validate and stamp anything you've done. You have none of that. And at some point, all of these content creators need to wake up and open their eyes about you. You're fake, dude. Based on what I just said right there, dog. You have no history. A person, a person with a history of being a rat at least has a history. They were in and out of the system. They did dirt. They put in work. Okay, maybe they didn't last throughout the ages. And maybe there was some schmuck. Don't matter, dog. Especially when a motherfucker who has no reputation for having done a motherfucking thing. No prison, no jail, no none of this shit. No shot nobody, no kill nobody, no stab nobody. Bro, you ain't got no reputation for fighting nobody except for some motherfucking, except for some fucking midgets and TJ, fool. Your whole fucking boxing career is suspect. Let alone your G-file, you have none. Peace and I'm out.